All right, Camtasia 2023. We're going to talk about how out of the box you can use these killer dynamic fills to get some really great looks. So I'm going to show you one quick text trick and then one thing with a shape, with a, with a circle. So uh, here you can see I've just got a couple of text fields out here on the timeline. There's nothing special about them, just edible text, Camtasia text. Uh, so, you know, you go into your annotations and you go to the text uh, area and you grab some text and you add it to the timeline. Choose a font. I, I'm choosing something here that's uh, that's big and thick uh, here for this upper title. And then we've got this uh, this light uh, version of it underneath here. But you want something that's that's got a little bit of heft to it for this particular effect. And here's what we're going to do. So we've got these two right here. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to group these up. So they're a single object. So, so we'll group them up and then we're going to come over to the library and we're going to go to that dynamic fills and we're going to open it up and let's go through and find one we really like here. I think we'll do this dynamic fill number five. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a track below here and that dynamic fill five, we're going to go ahead and drop it down right here and we'll drag it out so it's the length of the text right there and you can see okay so i've got text sitting on top of this background great that's a cool look if you want to do it but what we want to do is do something kind of special so we're going to go ahead and move into the visual effects bin here and i'm on the visual effects tab make sure you got that going on and right here we've got this media mat and all we're going to do with that media mat is just drag it down on that grouped text boom and you can see over here in the mode i've got it in alpha mode there are some cool things you can do here but we're just going to stick with this one simple one here so just alpha mode and now let's just play this back here you can see now i've got this dynamic fill behind this text and look at the color changes isn't that awesome? That's just super, super cool. You know, I can play around with this dynamic fill a little bit. Let's just say I wanted to, the speed to be a little bit faster, just to move through here a little bit quicker. So let's, uh, let's play back now and see what we look like here. We'll just get more shifting. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool fill right there. All right, one more second trick here. All right, I'm going to go to the annotations bin here, and I'm just going to grab uh, a circle shape here, and I've got this uh, circle shape set up, kind of a favorite of mine. It's got a nice thick stroke on it, border on it, and it's actually set up with dash lines. So we're going to go over and look at the properties real quick here. Outline set up to the dashes. Uh, we've got a thickness of, I don't know, 31.2, whatever, just nice and fat. And then uh, what we're going to do here is actually for the fill section of it, we're going to turn the opacity all the way down. All right. So you guys probably see where I'm going with this already. Back to the library, back to the dynamic fills. And this time we're going to grab uh, dynamic fill number six. And we'll just drag it down here. And I can do either one. I can trim it down or I can, uh, I can make this, you know, heck, let's make both of them a little bit longer here and now okay so i've got that shape sitting on top of there that outline stroke and what i'm going to do is come back to the visual effects tab again and you guessed it we're going to grab our friend media mat and we're going to drag it right on top of that shape there and you can see i've got this really cool animated border outline so that's really slick now uh bonus bonus we're gonna we're gonna group these up show you something really quick so group them up so i've got a group and you can see with the group i get the auto quick properties which just bubbles up all the colors that were available we're going to go into the quick properties editor here and we're just going to get rid of that stroke color since it's just being used as a alpha mat here a mask if you will and now you can see i've got these these four color wells which are the dynamic fill colors so let's go ahead and just map these to a theme. We'll start off, we'll go with, uh, how about accent one? That looks about like the same color. So we're gonna go accent one, and then we'll go accent two on this. And then why not? Let's do foreground on this guy right here. So, oops, it looks like I didn't get that set up, accent one. All right, so 
Now I should have all those mapped to theme colors. So we're gonna go ahead and save in the quick property editor. Okay, nothing's changed here. I can still use the color wells to individually, independently manipulate these, but now kind of the bonus is, let's go in and let's go find a theme here. Uh, let's go with the matrix right here. And you can see right there, I've got my theme mapping and I can pick out any theme I want. It's gonna to map to those colors. Let's just say, uh, oh, let's go with Star Wars 4. Boom. And let's play back in real time just so you can see that. You know, I like the original colors better, but uh, that's because we had a pretty amazing visual artist design all those color palettes. Let's see if we've got something here. Maybe keep this to accents kind of cool and funky anyways so that's a real easy way to dress up get a kind of cool gradient border stroke with any shape i just use a circle here you could use obviously a rectangle whatever you want all right i hope you enjoyed this you started to see the potential of those dynamic fills to be used very creatively enjoy